I said, it all starts in the gut and the small intestine rebuilding blood. And that I have been on a quest for 30 years for good health, taking care of myself for 30 years, but always striving for better. And I got here, I'm gonna change it a little bit here. I got here feeling not good at all. With shingles breakout, I don't have cancer. I know some of you do. And but it's the same, it's the same thing. It's over acid. It's making your body sick. And if you you will have bad days and you will have good days. But if you believe in that gentleman and here and these people that are so lovely and kind and, and caring, you will get better. But again, you will have good and you will have bad. You may have consecutive bad days. Just look at your spouse and say you love them and have a spouse love you back and say you are going to get better. Believe that in your heart and you will. <laughs> While I was here, I lost 23 pounds. Actually, let me think. 21, 22, 23 pounds. But the biggest thing here. The biggest thing here, I came here with an issue with my stomach, the shingles, and what I call a paralyzed head because it's harder than a rock. Not literally, but figuratively. But in doing the scan, I found out that my carotid arteries were 50% blocked. Yeah. In Shock. five days using the L-carnitine, or arginine, it was, it was down to 20%. Well, yeah. Fast forward another week, it only went down another, I think another, uh, what was it? Centimeter. One, centimeter on one, one centimeter on one side, two centimeters on the other but side. But flattened out, and my blood levels are now normal. Yeah. So in other words, I'm getting blood properly, and they are thinning out, you know, like this, and now they are flattened, and that's only in two weeks. Yeah. But when we first heard about the carotid arteries being 50% blocked, it... it I mean, we actually cried. We actually went back to the room and cried because we had no clue. No, I didn't no know about clear. it because I've been told, I've been to Stanford, I've been to every hospital around trying to figure out what was wrong with me. Your heart's good, your heart, no one ever checked that. Never. I've been every, the finest People doctors in Stanford. complain about it. No, because I passed all the tests. They're generic tests. Oh. Okay, the, the tests they do here are different. Mm -hmm. they, they pinpoint. They, but Stanford, that's, that's one of the most expensive, most... We live, we live right there. Yeah. Stanford, never, oh, your heart's good. Oh, well, these were 50% blocked. I mean, they could have killed me. Mm -hmm. I shoot every day. Uh, as a, I shoot 12 gauge shotguns, two or 300 rounds a day. Sporting class. I, I shoot com in competition. That's a lot of jarring. Could have broken off and had a stroke. It would have been done. Mm -hmm. It would have been over with. Now, I can go back to shooting. In, in two weeks, the other alternative would have been to be cut, cut, yeah. opened up, scraped, Close back up, and then take cumin in the rest of my life was nothing more than rat poison and kill me. That's all. <laughs>